went ahead and picked up another set of hinges and a piece of board. This board looks absolutely perfect if you look on the back. 70% off, it's coal lumber. Looks like it got a little damage in shipping. But I'm only using, you're only going to see one side of it anyway. So for this concealment art, I've got this one piece of lumber. It is 48 inches long by 11 and a quarter. And I'm thinking for this artwork, make it 11 by 14. That's standard for art. I've already made my mark at 14 inches. I'm going to cut this off. That'll be the canvas for the sunflower to be drawn on. Then the rest of it will be build the box, the bracing. I should be able to do it all with this one piece of board, not using any of the scraps from last time. So I'm going to start first by cutting this off here, setting it aside, and use the rest of it to build the frame around it and the box that it attaches to. So my boards, I'm going to rip them two and a half inches wide. That's going to be the depth of the box. Here we go. So one of the boards that I ripped off, it's got some damage to it. We're going to set that aside, maybe use it for the bracing in the back. I'm going to go ahead and rip one more for a pretty side. So now we've got this one, this will be for the bracing. This side will go to the wall, you'll never see it once it gets screwed on. This will be for the frame of the box, this will be for the frame of the artwork. Set that aside, and let's start working on the box frame. And I'm thinking if the artwork is 11 by 14, the box should be about, I don't know, 12 by 16, 13 by 16. Let's do 13 by 16. Now to the chop saw. So this is what we've got so far. Uh, the frame is about 14 and a half by 16. My artwork is 14 by 11. So if I measure this side, it's got a two inch difference, two inches longer. This side is three and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna cut these down and make it two inches here, two inches there. Then we'll split the difference. Have about an inch and a quarter frame on each side. So I'm gonna cut these off. So I'll just shorten these two side pieces. They are now approximately 11 and 3 quarters. Total box frame is 13 and a quarter. 13 and a quarter by 16. If we measure here, 2 inches. If we measure here, 2 inches. So now, if I do about an inch and a quarter here, inch and a quarter there, it'll fit just right. It is frame building time. I just did a little sanding to the front. It is now time to glue and nail it together. So I got the fence of the table saw holding to one side. I'm going to line up this side. Get some glue going on. And then nail it. And this 
frame is inch and a quarter, the nails are inch and three quarters. Should be perfect. So I just did a little sanding. I got the box right where I want it. Pretty side out, pretty side up. Out, up, out, up, out, up. I'm using the table saw table to help me keep it square when I nail it together. Well, I see it, the table square. If this is on the edge of the table, if this is on the edge of the table. So it's time to recess for the hinges. I just pulled over two inches and made a mark. Then I laid my hinge on there and traced where the hinge goes. Now I'm using my table saw. I've got the fence set up at two inches. When I flip this over, I'm gonna run it through once, then I'll reset the fence and I'll just clean out in between with the blade. Do the same thing on the other side. We're good to go. So I got the recesses cut for the hinges. I got the hinges laying in place. I pulled this off and then I marked with a pin where they go. Now it's just a matter of putting the screws in. I've already got two in here. I'll put those two in, then we'll attach to the box. The structural portion is finished. So here's the box. It is all finished. It's still got to be decorated, stained, and sealed. But this is it. And this is the amount of scrap wood I had left. It's pretty good. And I'm going to use some of that probably to mount some wood on the back of the door, drill a hole through, drop a nail in. That keeps it pinned shut. When you want to open, you take a magnet, you pull a nail out. So on the secret lock system, I took this board, went over to the drill press, drilled four holes, did four countersink holes. I put it in that corner, I trace where it goes. I'm gonna pull it out just a little bit, glue it and screw it. And then through the top, I'm gonna drill this drill bit through. This drill bit is to countersink the nail. And then when you drop the nail in, the door is locked. You take a magnet, it pulls the nail out. Since it's countersunk, you won't be able to pull it out with your fingernails. You have to use a magnet and nobody's gonna know about it unless you tell them about it, unless they see you open it. So up next, we're gonna attach that board to the inside. And then we're gonna drill that hole, put the nail in. So I've just marked where the hole wants to go, that X. As long as I can drill straight, I may need a longer drill bit, but uh, this will get us started. The nail locking system is now finished. There's the countersunk hole. When you drop the nail in, the box is locked. There's no way to get it out unless you've got that magnet. And once it's hanging on the wall, you'll be seeing it from this angle. You won't even know there's a magnet up there. If you feel with your hand, it feels kind of like a knot. And if you're thinking, whoever watched this video, they can find that box on your friend's wall. This person don't even live in the same state as me. So, uh, good luck finding them. So the artist Daisy painted a sunflower on the box. I gotta stain and seal that, let it dry, and then we're done. That was my stomach growling.